Good afternoon. Today's video is going to talk a little bit about Rancher. So we've done some videos using vanilla Kubernetes. We've done a few videos using OpenShift, the latest being OpenShift 4.8, and we're actually doing some validation now with 4.9. But I wanted to bring another flavor of Kubernetes. And Rancher being a flavor that I'm actually seeing quite a lot of. In fact, I've been on two calls today where F5 customers are actually using Rancher on premise. And one of the reasons probably is simplicity. I mean, we're going to talk a little bit about Rancher today and, you know, some of the reasons why. But the biggest thing here is that, and, and this is really an introduction introductory video it's really one of many videos that i'm going to talk about rancher i'm really just wanting to talk about deploying cis using helm charts within rancher there's a couple of different options to go and this is going to be very specific i think this first video is going to be specific to using crds or custom route definition custom custom definitions within the first one but we'll, we'll expand from there so using charts why use charts for well, charts really simplify repeatable functions specifically versioning upgrading also charts are quite useful to install different deployments so currently cis is not in the marketplace within rancher this is something that we're working on nginx is there and so we're working on adding CIS. That means that it's an embedded chart that's already installed and validated within the marketplace. So hopefully within, within you know, some up and coming videos, I can actually demonstrate that because that's actually something I'd like to see. But using charts really simplifies the install. And so Helm is really the package management for Kubernetes, right? And so I'm gonna show you a little bit today on how simple this is to really install a Helm chart for deploying CIS. And from there, then we can go and start to add um, different custom resource definitions um, to actually ingress traffic from Big IP into Kubernetes itself. But we have to have the CIS Big IP controller within Kubernetes to automate the function on Big IP. And so to do that, we're going to use the Helm chart installation. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our access for CIS to communicate with Big IP across the API. And CIS uses two based APIs. CIS uses the AS3 based API for all of the application deployment configuration. So CIS will build an AS3 declaration and de declare that declaration to Big IP. That's for all of your applications. That's for all of your adding of your pool members that are discovered through the services. CIS will also use a API that is really for the network stack. So there are some information that is needed specifically when using cluster IP with regards to your FDB entries, FDB entries for Flannel, as well as dynamic ARP addresses. And so what CIS will do is set up and create those FDB entries, as well as all of the ARP entries specifically for those pool members. So CIS will use those two APIs. So one of the things that's really important is that you need to create a secret. And in this case, I have used this command kubectl create secret generic for CIS login with the kube system. And I'm using the username of admin. You can change that name and use any administrative account that is associated to you. And then of course the secret, and I just removed my secret password here, um, but that's what would be created. And then what Kubernetes is doing is it's storing these user credentials in the Kubernetes secret, and CIS will pull them out of the secret when it needs to communicate with the big IP. So as you can see, I have created that on within Rancher. That's the response I get. The second thing that we have to do here is, as you can see right here, is add the CIS 
chart repository in Helm. And so to do that, it's simply of a Helm repo, add F5 stable. This is where the chart is coming from. So this is what's added. And so this gets added like that. And you can see it's F5 stable. F5 stable has been added to your repositories. The last step is the Helm install, which is specifically to this configuration. And you will notice a few things here. You will notice one of the one of the items that we're using here within this installation is that we're actually going to, I'm going to scroll this over here. We're actually going to use a install for what we call custom resource values. So custom resource values is using a specific chart for CRDs. And so there are a few items. This can be changed, manipulated based on this value file. And I have already created this file. One, one thing that's really cool about Rancher is that you don't have to have the files there. You can just simply import the files from GitHub. And so that's what I've done here. So you can clone this file and then simply just import this file. So if we look at what this file looks like, let's take a look at, at this file. If I scroll up here, we can actually see what actually happened. So if I go to this specific file here and look at this YAML file, you can see here we're using some very specific information. So we're using CRD modes is true. We're also, in this case, using a specific instance of flannel as well as the cluster IP mode. So this is just really a simple test. I'm going to start getting into Rancher networking in the next video, but I wanted to just create this initial video first just to kind of show show some of the interaction using the using home with rancher so that's the file that we're going to point to and so when you point to that to that file it will then go ahead and actually as you can actually see here i actually ran that file it created the five resources what's really cool is that everything is packaged within this home chart for you so as it installs everything is packaged there and so it can install these files. You can see it's waiting for the resources. The pre resources were created. This is the name and this is the deployment and kind of like where it deployed. And now you can kind of see that this is the name and there's some information here, some, some little bit more of the, of the documentation. So that's, that is really it. I mean, that is very, very, very simple. As long as you know where the files are, it's a very, very simple implementation. So let's go ahead and take a look at Rancher. And you can see here is how I installed this. And so I'll go ahead and close that just to open this up. So you can see here the installed app. You can see right there, this is what was installed. I installed this an hour ago. And you can see here are the different pieces that are needed. For example, the ingress class, the service account, the deployment, the cluster role, the cluster role bindings everything is here and so if you need to manipulate this deployment you could manipulate this within the home chart itself right if you want to actually then go and see the actual deployment itself what you could then do is go into workloads and you can actually see here and you can actually go down to the deployment this is actually the deployment of cis so you can actually see here that cis is actually running as a deployment, if you wanted to log this, you could actually go and view the logs right here, and you can actually see that CIS is logging. You could also filter certain logins as well. You can actually see that we've actually created here, we're actually creating the, this is what's, like I was telling you about that API, we're actually connecting to and we're actually logging, we're, lo we're actually logging that. So you can see that there will be some network logs. We, we use the API every 30 seconds. You can see, so it's, it, it, there will be an update specifically for those FDB entries because we're using cluster IP. So I'll go ahead and so let me just close that out. So there are a couple of things that you can actually say here is actually the pod that is actually running. And you can actually see if you wanted to, as you look at this pod, there are a couple of things that you can do here. This is really cool. You can actually edit this pod, edit config here, 
and you can actually change change this to a zero so I can actually drop this down I don't have to delete this but what I can do is if I want to stop CIS I could actually drop it down to a zero um, which would then be zero replicas so it would remove the, the pod deployment or I could replicate back up to one again which is what we see over here so I really like that that's that's actually really cool because it's actually the replica set that you're you're actually changing here so you can see here this is the home chart there's a couple of other things within the network in here um, for example not a lot but there are some some additional items here um, that potentially you can modify with um, or manipulate so there's really the the deployment set of of CIS running inside rancher so again this is one of many videos the next video i'm going to make in the up and coming days is being is going to be is being is going to be getting into the networking constructs of rancher and what are your options if you want to front end your rancher cluster with a f5 big ip thank you very much hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe